Um, we can get started. And has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. Okay. Are there any uh, changes or additions you want to add to them? <laughs> Two quick corrections. Very quick. So in the um, new business number six, A1, the estimate of was is $10 per file. He, he normally charges $20 per file, but for us, he was only going to charge $10 per file. Okay, so, so I wanted to make that clear. So the estimate would only be 10 miles. Scratch out the 20. Yes. And then um, it would take him two weeks, not three to four weeks. That's it. Um, two, two weeks? Yes, it wouldn't take three to four weeks. It would take him two weeks. Okay, that's minor. We can take care of it. Uh, anybody else notice anything? I move we accept the minutes as corrected. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think it would be unanimous. Yeah. Who is serving as secretary for this meeting? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's okay. all right. Sorry. That was because I did it. Well, what's wonderful is it. Thank you for that. So, uh, yeah, you can always go back and take for a rest. I've been here, done that. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, and what's wonderful is it's recorded. So, Cindy, if, if, as you're going through and like refining or reviewing your own, if you wanted to look at the recording, that's that helps. That's great, really thank you. And mm -hmm. the item was um, I'm six, yes, this is six A one, yeah, one, six, one. six A, A one. And I'll take care of those adjustments uh, or breaking well to yeah. sure. for the final product so yeah. you don't need to touch the. So. Um, so did I just you, mention you mean? Oh, just say they're correct. Just say it's correct. Just say it's correct. Just say it's correct. Just say correct. Just say it's And since we have a new person here, I was wondering if we can do um, the introduction. Yes. That would be good. That would be fantastic. I can go first. Okay. I can go first. <laughs> uh, well, wonderful. I'm Kristen. Uh, I am the new supervisor over um, a few different areas of recreation in Callahan House Falls. Like are my new um, job duties. Um, I. I'm excited. Really looking forward to meeting all you guys and being more involved with Brittany and what she's doing here and all the exciting things that Calumet does and offers our community. Um, I also oversee our large community special events, general leisure programming, and our therapeutic recreation. So what is your whole title? Oh, supervisor of general programs. General programs. Okay. Great. I'm a recreation, recreation program supervisor. Her. Period. Period. <laughs> Period. Yeah, period. Yeah. Superwoman. Well, welcome. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, welcome. I'm Karen Reed. I'm Ann Thompson. Are you McCoy? Just well. <laughs> Cindy Martin. Okay. Well, welcome. All right. And the next item on here uh, would be the public, which I don't think we have a public today. So. Um, let me, I, I do have a quick question with, with all the new job titles and everything. Is there a possible way that we can get an update for? Oh, it's there. Yeah, that's in the packet. It's in the packet. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice chart. I did glance. I had asked that at last meeting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you did. Apologize. Yeah, you listen. No, no, it's me. So, what a great segue. Let's go to the packet. Yeah, um, and I included for you, um, recreation has been undergoing um, a subtle reorganization. Um, I think eight years ago, we did a rip the bandaid off for organization, and that's a year later, we ripped the band-aid off and reorganized the reorganization, which was really painful. Um, and so when Jeff uh, accepted his new position as the, um, the director of recreation and culture, um, and Ben took his position, uh, or a new position, we started a, a subtle reorganization. So there used to be on this big orange chart uh, with all the colors, when you went to the Assistant City Manager of External Services, um, that's, a, that's a relatively new position and it used to um, be Karen Roney had all these departments underneath her and she was a very capable woman 
and um, when she retired, they replaced that with two individuals. And um, one of those individuals so awesome. was is wow. Jeff Friesner, yeah. and he does the recreation and culture, which is recreation, golf, library, and museum. The his counterpart uh, does the human services side, and that is um, Christina uh, Pacheco, and she does senior services. Um, Housing, youth services, and, and house services. So it's more the wow. taking care of the of the of the human side, and then the other side is the once your needs are met, this is all the other things that one can do. Um, when Jeff moved up, he kept some things that he traditionally did, and so the position for recreation became a superintendent of recreation and golf. And that's the position that, that Ben Wagner now, now fills. Um, so he's in charge of golf services and is in charge of three distinct areas of recreation. Um, one of them is the Longmont Recreation Center, um, which is the area supervisor is Chris Crone. He oversees not only operations of the Longmont Recreation Center, but has a specialty in fitness and um, athletics and field maintenance. So that's the area that he oversees. Um, the other side is recreation with aquatic and ice, and that group um, oversees the pool operations and then the ice pavilion operations in the, in the, um, in the winter. And then um, for the memorial building in the area, Ben kind of followed Jeff's lead, and he kept a little bit of what he did before and kind of handed off the rest. And so that's where my change came in. Um, where I am now doing the area supervising with the specialty in business operations uh, and marketing. And Ben is keeping um, the, the facility piece at the Memorial Building and he's keeping direct, and he's continuing with direct supervision of um, the program supervisor, which is, which is Kristen. Um, and as Kristen said, she oversees three different areas, the Callahan House with Brittany being one, and then three other staff members, yeah, one of whom we are interviewing next week, in the next two weeks wow. for that position. So, um, so you still do all the marketing? Yes, I'm involved with all the marketing still, um, still the rec track, uh, and with the, the business operations within Recreation at Large. I just officially started changing my name at the city last week. Okay. And so I'm still. I signed my name as a row like 12 to 15 times yesterday. And <laughs> I kept putting a D and then maybe made an R. <laughs> so I, was just, I am so not. You're so confused. I'm still so confused. I'm like, that's not. Okay, that is what it is. That is what it is. And I sent it out. So that's great. So, so what is your last name? It's Rao, R A U. Oh, yeah, that's easy. That's nice. nice. Yeah. It is. It is. It's wow with an R. <laughs> <laughs> my husband is less enthusiastic about that one. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's not how I explain our name. I'm like, okay, well, you, <laughs> never, I do. you did provide me any other option. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so that that's nice. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes. Um, and it, it was hard to do the org chart for recreation because this is very two, you know, very one dimensional, and our yeah. report structure is very much not one dimensional. And these people aren't necessarily doesn't really line up like yours. No, <laughs> it doesn't. But oh well. Yes. Yeah. So that was it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Sharing that with us. So he has questions. Mm -hmm. No, it follows into the opposition oh, no. culture. Culture. Oh. Recreation, golf, library, museum, Callahan House is under recreation. And so you will see that. Okay. So because it falls under recreation, it's right. under on that next chart. Mm -hmm. So we're not on a colorful chart. Right? No. <laughs> I was no, going to say, why aren't we in the yeah. No, that's, that's culture the, list. That's the yes. high dive of, color. <laughs> the high dive of things. Okay. And that was provided not by me. That was yeah. This is the city city manager's office. office. Yes. All right. Okay. 
So is there any more discussion from the packet? There's still some other pages yeah. here we could go through. Um, is that to come from, is that to come from items from staff and Yeah, I don't know. I said I know. I think uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. <laughs> I think I think the rest of the late. Okay. Like, All right. Well, that was great. Then. Apologies for getting out of order there. I think it right. was in the first order. Actually. Yeah. So it was good to go. Okay. So we can move on to old business now. Um, so we'll start with the status of the SHF grant project. It's it's happening. It's happening. It's going on. <laughs> um, no, it's been great. They finished the concrete last Friday. Um, it was really interesting to see. It was, you know, a little nerve wracking taking out the big chunks and whatnot. And, um, but I think they did a great job. I think you can hardly tell um, in a lot of places. So that is complete as far as I understand. Um, window plexiglass has been removed and they did take some of the windows out for restoration. Um, and the plan is to put store windows over those instead. So it'll be a clear covering. Um, instead of the plexiglass, which yellows over time. So I think that would be a great option for protection and keeping it clear and being able to really enjoy those details. Clear, clear so, and pretty. Is clear and exactly. pretty. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, <laughs> wow, you can really see the garden. Exactly. Well. Yeah, no, it's, it's really nice to see in and out. And as you can see, you know, we've got some, uh, the wood coverings and the windows that are under restoration and waiting to come back. And I'm not sure exactly what the timeline is on those, but they'll be done by September. Mm -hmm. um, those like they were prepped for paint? Yes, paint just started <laughs> yesterday. Okay. So yeah, they did all of the um, taping and, and trimming and all of that. And, and actually some folks were here a few weeks ago too, removing lead paint um, and, and, and scraping and whatnot. So yeah, painting started yesterday afternoon. Great. So yeah, the, those three big projects are on track. Um, so yeah, that's great. It's been fun to see. And then uh, Ben met with the contractor to get a, a quote for the repair of this item over here and a couple other punch lists also installing and repairing the wall for the hanging manager or the hanging project upstairs. Mm -hmm. We're going to have them take care of that or they, we're, respecting, we're requesting, I think, for that. I don't know that we've gotten it. I don't know where we're at getting the answer back, oh, but it has been met with the contractor and they're preparing that. And we have to see that answer. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good information. Uh, the next is Art Walk, and I can talk to that. Um, it's rolling along really good. Um, we've got the artists all set up, the music is looking good. Um, we're getting an exact count on the number of easels right now. You can yeah. let us know if you need an easel or not. Um, I don't have to tell me what exactly you want. I don't know if you said you wanted one well, we, item we, in front of the coach. That would have to be a small a tabletop because we've got an artist in there with three big easels. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you need a tabletop, you know. But if you want a floor easel for upstairs, so those we have to order. For real. Mm -hmm. That's what I was asking. So, so if a kind of floor easel, then just, just one. And you take up a, they have a big footprint. And they're opened up, and so it would take away something from the artist. That's why, but we could do a tabletop in there. That doesn't take as much of a floor space. But upstairs, you can have a floor easel there. So yeah, I was gonna order those. Yeah, yeah. ASAP. So right now we need six, we need. but if we want one, we can order. Uh, I think you know what? If we have a floor upstairs, and if you get this tabletop, yes, yeah. up there too, we don't. You sure? Okay. Okay. okay, then we can use a tabletop down here. They're just kind of the tabletop ones are not huge. Like they don't have a big footprint. Hold something about like this if that works for you. Big enough to hold. Uh, um, you know, I told you that the size is the twenty-two-inch by twenty-inch. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, I think you're okay. I think there's one tabletop that's a bigger tabletop. There's yeah, there's a couple bigger ones. They're all different sizes, but I think there's one rather larger. Okay. Yeah. We have to <laughs> rent or acquire some floor easels anyway, so you know, extra depending on cost and yeah, uh, we can make it work. I'm gonna go purchase them and make them sure. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions on our block? We do need to arrange um, timers. Like oh, that's. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, I was thinking of that at home, and then I just forgot it. So yeah, we usually split it up a little um, because it is a long day. 
So um, for the first shift, uh, usually if you bring, like I'm, I mean, you have artists coming and you do, well, because you work here, so, <laughs> and you have a band coming. Or, I don't know if it's a band or an ensemble. Ensemble. Ensemble's a better name. Yeah. What was it? Jazz yeah. band. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Musicians. So we need to come for the first shift. And so we need one more person on the first shift. Any volunteers? I'll do it. Okay. okay. First day after you. Is that like that might be best because then we'll be setting things up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's true. True. Okay, why don't you do it? Okay, so okay. us fine. three are first okay. shift. What are the hours for the first shift? First shift is three to six. Okay. Because in you can even come earlier at three if you want, but <laughs> three is official to six. And I'll probably be here by. Well, I'll be there earlier. If anybody <laughs> yeah. wants to come yeah. earlier, feel free. Yeah, I'm going to be here for the whole. Yeah. You're going to be here. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be here at least by two or. Yeah. Two, and the second shift is going to be in that first shift. So I will be here. Yeah. Marie and my family. And, then, and then Brittany will be here. And then the second shift is six to approximately 8 30. I mean, it's the, you have to include the teardown. So, six to eight is the actual art walk. But then you have tear down and helping the artists a little bit. So yeah, yeah I think it's a faster tear down than setup. Yeah. So we give it hour for setup, but you know, they're ready to go home too. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, it's a little early in one between. Yeah, you don't just leave. You guys can. Yeah. So um, the between the first and second shifts, there's a little bit of an overlap. If I remember it's about six. 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. just come a little so early. You can come about um, 5 30. Because then that would put you from five thirty to eight thirty, and it's really not going to take that long away. It's the same. It's the same length of time um, from each shift, like three to mm -hmm. six, five thirty to eight thirty. But it won't even yeah. won't even be here. So until yeah, 30. it sounds fun. So one thing to remember it for the people working too is one of our responsibilities is to kind of watch people. We don't want they're all coming from our walk. They've got food and drinks. We don't want that coming in. Um, so, you know, we kind of have to catch them at the doorway, and it's, you know, they're sneaky. <laughs> I mean, some of them get by us, so you got to yeah, be careful. Yeah. If you happen to see somebody made it into the house. So um, we might want to do a trash can. Yeah, so we can by the porch. Sure, so um, put a sign, too, so we don't have to tell some. I mean, we can tell people, but could just be there'd be less of that to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Signage is always good. And they could go to the garden and finish there. Yeah, because we're going to have chairs yeah. just there. Yeah. But tables. Um, the, so uh, I was talking with the musicians and they wanted to know they did say you know I'm not 20 so we're going to have to take a break because there are specific times that you want us to take a break so, so to them yeah. I would say if, what's the, the busiest time is of course the first two hours I mean that's when everybody comes and then it slows I think there's a little yeah. slack period we could you know if they don't mind playing oh, the dinner hour yeah. yeah so maybe let's see we started at 4 or 5 Six thirty, maybe they can take break. Six thirty. Yeah. Yeah. What do they need? Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Fifteen twenty minutes. But I, I was laughing. Like, no, you have to play the whole time. You can't leave. You can't leave. And it's like uh, at a certain point, you do have to take yeah. a break. Yeah, yeah. after breaks. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would say roughly yeah, six thirty. Okay. 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 So, so this, so the second shift is going to be Karen, Tig, and Cindy, and Kathy. I will teach her to miss the meeting before. Uh, <laughs> she won't mind. She's no. good. Oh, I'll come for that. Okay. Thank you. Or, okay, I'll be here for the Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Okay. So moving on. Um, Actually, I'm sorry. Oh, and you think um and. I believe that Betsy can be here, and I'm waiting to find out about Jacqueline, but uh, does that give us enough people for setup? Will she be here early? for the early? Yeah, and um, I'll probably try to get here a little earlier, too, because we have to haul a few tables out. And stuff yeah, and some tables and, and chairs and yeah. stuff, but will that, that'll be okay. Did you talk to Jacqueline just to ask her how many tables she remembers having on? Or she didn't really set up. I think about five or six tables is what we have. We can, that yeah, we, we've mind. got plenty of tables and chairs yeah. around, so we can kind of do whatever we yeah. want to do. But I mean, they are, they're up on the sleeping porch and they're in the auto house, so there's going to be a little bit of moving and hauling, which I'm yeah. happy to take the lead on. And, you know, I can haul stuff around and maybe I'll need some chairs. Or and is, or is there any way we like can get that, some help from the city with that? Some we, we are the city. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to all sit it up on that, that day. So after the, the, the meetings are done on Wednesdays, 
people do some pre set up on Thursday. Maybe at least yeah, bring the tables can, downstairs. I can probably do that on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, so they're already downstairs, and then we just have Paul outside. Yeah, mm -hmm. and will that be, yeah. will that work? Yeah, that would be helpful for a second meeting in the morning, so if anybody's available in the afternoon yeah, for a meeting, we could come over after. Work home. That's cool. Okay. Right, if you, you know, need some extra hands or some help, you can just take it just myself. Just, yeah. It's not fun. Okay. And your guys are shooting Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're going to be yeah, right. I know I'm holding out you, chairs and things like that. Anything in advance, a okay. lot of moving it. I'm able body and I can. Okay. I can certainly set so up chairs. chairs. I'm not great at carrying things downstairs. No, that's that's I'll try to have those downstairs. not be pulling yeah. down. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then it'll just be popping things up. Yeah, so that'll be okay. okay. Figuring out how to set up those tripods is always fun to have those stands. I mean, it should be easy. <laughs> anyway, okay. Any more on our what? Okay, let's move along to news releases for the grant project. Okay, we can have lunch just a second. Well, we will still be giving people the two handouts, right? For mm -hmm. yeah, the information about the house and the historical If we have enough, well, some of them come in as three groups. Right. We can have them available. available and, yeah, you know, I was going to say it's, it's still an opportunity. One doesn't get in every hand, hand but, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we'll put out the donations box. Well, and right. Well, I, I, I think we will shake the front door and help do that, and then ask people to sign up if they would want to sign up to be on the on the mm -hmm. um, email yeah. list yeah. because we've got a yes, I was just her. It's just the volume of people is so much greater than the absolutely. Volume. And if we miss someone, we'll yeah. try our best, but. Um, who, who are we going to have up the front door to be clicking? Who would like to? Betsy did that at the at the open house. Do we want board I'm sure she wouldn't us. mind doing anything that we need help with. So. I was going to say that's that's kind of the easiest, um, least uh, I guess knowledge requiring task mm -hmm. or you know assignment. So so if she wouldn't mind doing that, that'd be very I'm helpful. Sure she would it makes all the board members available to answer questions. And one other difference yeah, from other much. years uh, that we're doing is now that obviously for fire hazard, uh, doors are unlocked. We don't, need, <laughs> but we're not letting people in through the side door. They're going right. to come in through the front door. And I, we're, we're going to do some signage there too that directs them enter through the front because it's just too hard having them come in two doors like we've done in the past. It's, it's too confusing. Very confusing. And that's when we get problems with yeah, food. food <laughs> coming in. Because you watch in the front and they come in the side. And, um, so yeah, we're just gonna, it'll be unlocked. So we're gonna, but we're not gonna, they're gonna have to do yeah. some things creep in all over. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, how would you get that off? There's lots of time. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I can't think of anything. Anything else I forgot? <laughs> oh, ropes. We're gonna have make sure that the, those doors are roped off, right? Right, yeah. and she's gonna have signage on them too. Yeah. We're gonna be a little more signage visible this year. Because I think yeah, you have to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're also going to have stairs. Okay, yeah. We're going to have stairs. All these people that try to use those stairs. So there's going to be a sign upstairs, right? That says yeah. no entrance. There's a sign stairs. down here that says no rope down here. Yeah, but it still. So one of us will have to be up there to. Well, yeah, we need a person up there because it doesn't matter. I don't know how many times we've had it this happen at least when I've been here there's, there's always somebody yeah. that feels well, we haven't had signage before and fly with them yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> tricky they are <laughs> yeah they're hazardous yeah, stairs to try to go up yeah they're a little tricky yeah. things look yeah. cool so yeah, yeah they look yeah. cool mm -hmm. they're also they're very cool yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay so anything else with the art walk we can always jump back if it's something pops into your head but let's move on to news releases who is Remember that um, the city has okay. a, a group and that they do. That. Okay, so, so like is there any? Mm, well, I think progress, progress, a lot of their energies are, are tied up with the bond, right? Um, the city council and the agreement to put a different um, questions on the ballot in November. Right. right. Uh, so they, so, so, and so while all this painting and everything is getting done, I think it will probably be more at towards the end of, of the piece for them to lose. Is the actual event? Will it, will it be possible for them to get to it in September or October? Like in the see? Because if, if not, then perhaps um, the Times Call could do a simple interview with Brittany like they did with Kathy before. and. Um, and then that way, an article can go in the paper about um, 
the activities that have happened and the, the restoration um, that has occurred. Okay. I think every new house manager over the years has kind of got a newspaper mm -hmm. article. Yeah, <laughs> which would be a beautiful start. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, this is your introduction to the house manager. You get to have a nice interview with Thomas Call and tell them all about all the wonderful things that have just happened. Okay. You're also doing pieces like that on um, UNC, um, uh, NPR stuff where they do local things that are going on and that would be another big crime. Okay. Well, that thing is. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah. connect with mm -hmm. Sibella and see what, what we can get done. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah that's one of those other little pieces that we can. Okay. Uh, next on our old business is the fall tea. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, invitations were mailed on July 24th, and you um, all we'll have yours. And I, we didn't put postage and mail to yours because. Um, so we are expecting um, RSVPs by September 22nd, um, and I think what we need to probably talk about is um, food and arrangements, because I think, what arrangements because I think we sort of tabled it last month, Brittany, because we were waiting for you to be in place so that we could kind of run things through you. Okay. So, um, what, do you, I mean, I can tell you some things of what we've done in the past, but I think it probably is important to be open and flexible about what we should do here and now. So, yeah. what do you think? Is it generally hosted by the, the board and the house manager in conjunction mm -hmm. for us all past and present? Okay, um, great. Mm -hmm. um, well, I had heard that that you're interested in doing yeah, something. More, more than glad to, to kick in my board right now. So okay. So um, I guess something we need to consider there then is how our food license works. Um, so any food that's coming in from outside that's served down, and is the event mostly down here? Is it the whole house? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, any food that's coming in from, that's served down here according to our retail license, our food retail license, it needs to be uh, Come from a certified kitchen. So you have a catering license, though. I don't have a catering license, but I have all the rest of my food served, saved, all of all of that, and I'm yeah. a certified chef. So I okay. guess if I needed to get a license for that, is well, that or I mean, yeah. So there are like certified kitchens that people can rent time. I don't know. And this is a certified kitchen. Yeah, so or it could, could be prepared here. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think, yeah, depending on what you are thinking about, we could we could okay. have you prep most of it ahead of time here. Okay. Um, That's fine. Yeah. And then anything else that we want to, if, if we want to add things, you know, in addition, they would be, so a certified kitchen is, you know, a restaurant or a grocery store or whatever, um, or caterer or anything. So if we want to, add some from places like that and have Marine do some or whatever you know, okay. we're thinking. Okay. So Okay. Cool. How many people attend this fall tea? We have forty two invitees. We Which should see we have yes. it will yes. depend on if they bring the guest. For example, Brittany if you think they're bringing the guest. And um, and everyone is, is encouraged on invitation to feel free to bring the guest. So you know if they want it's it does serve, serves two purposes. It does allow them to bring someone who who is special to them, but also gives them, that other person an opportunity to kind of like observe and, and um, learn a little bit about the house, and it, it opens the opportunity for future volunteers or future board members mm -hmm. branching off that way, but potentially <laughs> maybe some people. Mm -hmm. if, if that, but I doubt. I don't, I don't 50 that. maybe? Yeah. What, what do we expect? If that even. I think um, last year, I think it was min It was fairly minimal. Yeah. I'd say if we had 20 to 30, 30. Right. Really, 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 So do we want to plan for 30 people, 35? I mean, I you don't want to not have closer. enough. Um, I, I, we call oh, it the yeah. 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 Okay. Like next month, I can certainly um, uh, bring a uh, headcount um, at that point because mm -hmm. by that time I will have reached out to everyone 
who I hadn't heard from yet via email just to just check it in. So, and then I'll have a closer idea about the county. Great. Oh, so, yeah. That's a good okay. Adam doesn't know your opinion in the slightest. So, I would not have expected it to. No. <laughs> <laughs> Some people get really worked up over that, but. Okay. So, so, so at what point do we want to talk about menu and offerings? And, and, and is it more like, Finger sandwiches type. It's not. It's not a full meal. But no, it's not a full no, snack meal. It's, it's yeah. light. Fatigue. Yeah. It's light. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. meat yeah. yeah. It's two. Two yeah, or exactly. four in the afternoon. It's a light. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nibbles. Uh, the the one thing that so this also actually opens up a whole thing. So so um, because you're are we going to be looking at getting um, additional caterers on our our. Um, Bringing in additional preferred list. caterers, we sure can. Because we most probably people don't should. use Spice of Life, to be honest. So they've kind of fallen out of a very preferred cater. I think we generally tend to steer people towards tools and Grace Point right now. Um, but yeah, it's certainly something that can be expanded upon. Well, I'm wondering if we don't want to reach out to the community and let them know that we're opening to possibly have additional caterers. Looked at to be used as preferred caterers. Sure. Because... We saw information for an RFP, but I did, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> RFP where we did a out to the community mm -hmm. and then people responded, and that's where we got one of our original list of preferred caterers. Mm -hmm. So I think okay. that's something. So we'll do that, that again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's 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 Yeah, and I also think that we need to then remind um, the clubs that this is the case because I do know. Um, that was not necessary a rule that was enforced. People brought in whatever they wanted down here. Yeah. Okay. Um, just yep. saying. <laughs> okay. So maybe we'll think between now and next month's meeting about specifically ideas of what foods and things. Is that are we is that the goal? Sure. And then next meeting we can Finalize, okay, we're gonna have this. Yeah, we're gonna, does yeah. that we have enough time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so if we get together with the committee again, then I can bring up a, a list of certain items that I think are okay. easy and, and okay. uh, compatible. Yeah, that and works. Just okay. make some choices okay. and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. All right, we'll, 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 we'll do it between now and then. We'll, we'll, we'll do a proposal for the board. Okay, okay, all So, all tea sounds like it's in good hands. Yeah. Okay, July, oh, we are talking, no, July Open House has already taken place. Right, um, um, I have some numbers. Okay, yeah, yeah it was a quiet one. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was bigger than April. What? <laughs> April was 17 people, uh, July Open House was 33 people. So, wow, growing. Um, and we did get $50 in cash donations, so that was great. Um, seven people signed up for the email list, and we sold a $40 artwork. Yes! So, Oh, that's exactly. Yes, that is. Okay. And the sale went okay. You didn't have any trouble with the yeah, funds? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Was that a credit card or cash? Uh, it was credit card. Okay. And it was, oh, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it was a very easy process. At least on my end, in the, like the back end, I handed them the receipt and said, "This is from this." Yep. And then they said, "Okay, that's good." Yeah. Something else went on. Signed up on the email. Seven. I uh, question about that. What? Uh, what is happening with those signups, or is that? It's being held. Um, the one of the items is the content for any e-bus communication was requested to be drafted by the advisory board. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. Right now it's just accumulating. So I have those. Okay. So would you like something drafted and brought to your next meeting, um, just so that it can be sent to all of? On to say thank you for attending the open house and, and here's your gal out. signed up for this and it's going out. Yeah. Okay. yeah, if you all want to do that, that's fine, or I'm happy to do that either way. Thank you, really. That would be great. Okay. That would be great, really. Okay. And then, then I also let them know that they'd be um, made aware of upcoming events at the house. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. That's basically yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll want to get something out before our block then. That's exactly yeah. right. Okay. So about our walk, or I guess that's the new our walk, but it also has to do with open house and events in general. Um, I noticed that the open house, the July open house, was not in constant contact. Um, so it wasn't in the weekly 
the creation blast email. Um, so I thought we had planned for all of those to be. I knew that it wasn't going to be in recreation brochure and printed, mm -hmm. but I thought that we had planned we planned to have that in for at least the two weeks prior to the event in the constant contact email. Take that long. Okay. I'm finding all the things that I dropped so this summer. Real, there, that was boy, one of them. So, um, well, that's I apologize. Okay. You so had your daughter's mar marriage and you got wed? I can't imagine. I got a new dog. You got um, a new dog. Um, I got a new person. Um, um, things so fell through this. How many changes so can you have in, in one uh, yeah, 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 Schedule those for the future with our uh, constant contact person yeah. and a lot of these things that you have here, the amount of detail that can be included, Brittany knows all of that right now, right, okay. from this meeting, because there's, right. there's not room for cool. a lot no, of no. stuff, so yeah. um, she can get that cool. done and mm -hmm. reload it so that it's just getting busier, so, easier. So who's the constant contact Person. Um, one of my administrative, Rochelle. one of the, uh, Rochelle Pinman, yeah. yeah, Rochelle, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So we can look at so making sure that it's in constant contact for August 31st and September 7th because um, Art Walk is um, September 9th. Perfect. Kristen, do you have that on your sheet? So I can pick yeah, it up. I just told her. I told her. Okay. I think for sure. She lives in Colorado Springs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. she lives in Colorado Springs. Yeah. She's a full-time remote oh. employee of ours. So we'll make sure. Oh, okay. Okay. So anything else on the open house? Okay. Let's go on to donations and contributions. And I think there's a team working on that too. Yeah. Yes. And the donations, the sheet that I provided you, just wanted oh, yeah. that it gives us, and I don't, I have not inputted the money, the fifty dollar cash donation yet at this time, for um, in this one sheet. So, um, so I guess that would bring our, our annual total up to one hundred and fifty three dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And actually, I think there's so 50 was from the last open house. Um, Might be a little bit more. There was $21 in there before that. I don't know what it's from. I'm assuming, I'm going to see calling it the April open house. Okay. Yes. Um, and then there's another $10 in there from some people that wanted to come see the house. Well, we can do the $10. So yes. I put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so get that entry. So yeah. That okay. makes the one three eighty. Um, well, it'd be 53.80 plus, we have 21, 21, 50, and 10, but we can get it updated. Um, so then, yeah, on the online donations verbiage updated, so well did that for us, um, so that now when folks go to make a donation online, they can make a cap monetary donation to the Callahan House Fund. Um, previously, it was kind of directing people, confusingly directing people to purchase a park bench. Um, <laughs> and really, the funds were still going. It was still a monetary donation into the house fund, but it looked as though you were you had to select a park bench to make the donation. So that's been fixed. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. Um, so yeah, the sheet here is just kind of and running you through what the, what the page looks like when you go through it. And thank you for showing her that because we were trying to explain. Yeah, so that is done. So that's great. Um, and I was looking at completely the wrong place. Um, so here. I was confused. You guys were confused. <laughs> uh, uh, it just uh, led yeah. down the rabbit hole from there. But yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that is that is great. working now. That's great. Um, so yeah, for the Donations and Gifts Committee, um, we've been working on this, this policy for a long time. So the cover page here is just kind of to 
talk about the process that we went through and what we're still expecting because there's still some, some parts of the process that are upcoming. But um, basically our purpose was to create a donations and gifts policy and guidelines so that people could easier donate to the house um, and also kind of to eventually draw in more donations, more community partnerships, um, and hopefully some organizations that might want to donate to us and things like that. So that is our plan to put out those feelers and draw those things in moving forward. Um, so yeah, we started with ideation, created the um, policy that you'll see on the next page. Uh, so the first step now is approval from the board. Um, and then the, the policy and, and our process is going to go through final approval. Um, well, and so backing up a little bit, thank you for all your work. This is really good work. Yes, and, it is. Um, where it goes from here um, is that all this information will be then incorporated um, in a way that's in alignment with, with the city stuff that the city policies, the city guidelines, of which we're not expecting or wanting you guys to be experts in, because that doesn't make any sense. Because um, we've got people who already have that. But we did use the city's policy yeah. as a... That was, a that was kind yeah. of the structure we yeah. worked from to right. begin with, so yep. it's a foundation that we built on. Right, so the, the, the final piece is a piece that will get um, clarified with city staff um, in collaboration with the different departments that need to be involved to for the clear for the clarity that we need, and then there'll be the final policy that will be ready to go in place. Okay, which will then get viewed again by the board. But but basically, once it goes through the city's process, that's kind of what we have to work with. Um, but yeah, but I think this is going to be a really positive thing to help yeah, kind of really draw all that stuff positive. in yeah. and make it easy for people to donate. We've worked hard on understand that we're here to be donated to, and, and, and we did work for the donations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what yeah. happens is true. Yeah, yeah. 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 well, exactly. yeah. yeah. What, what, yeah. what that money is for. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so rather than just you know donating to anything else in the city, this is very specific to this historic property. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so there's still some, some outstanding to do's as you can see, and a lot of them have to do with um, the website. Uh, and I did go through some kind of initial website training last week, I think that was. Um, and in going through that, I did learn so some of the forms that we have here um, after the policy, I don't mean to skip ahead, but the donation agreement and the request to donate, we're probably gonna actually have to turn those into like an online Billable form, so it's not going to be this one exactly, but it'll be the same information where people can input that information and then it comes through via email. Says that, that someone has, has requested to donate. So um, it's basically taking the content that you guys have yeah. worked so hard with and putting it in a form that fits the requirements of the city for ADA, it fits our requirement for legal, it fits our requirement for consistency. So the final form will be heavily flavored by what you have contributed. Mm -hmm. um, but it may not look exactly like this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the kind of forms. Forms. Yeah. So basically, if it's over five hundred dollars, they have to fill out these forms. No, um, that's all going to go back to get in alignment with other things with the city. Yeah. So, so we we emulated ours also after what the museum has done with some help from Eric Mason, which was very much appreciated. Um, and so they don't. There's no real like limit on what people can can donate, but there are different. Well up to um, $10,000, and that is subject to change, but right now, the, the city, any donation of $10,000 or more needs to go through the city council um, to be approved and accepted. But anything under that amount is generally approved, although that amount is subject to change. But so, so potentially someone could go in and donate, you know, $900 or $9,999. Right. <laughs> um, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're hopeful. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But do over five hundred dollars is a different so you know, so they, process. You, yes, this is if they want regulation kind. These are only for in regarding in kind. Uh, if someone was going to offer a two set, that's in kind okay. donation. Yeah. That's yeah. A, so anybody can donate a monetary donation. We're not going to put anybody through a process to make a monetary donation yeah. or you know any of that. But if someone wants to donate yeah, a tea set, an item, um, or even supplies or something like that, a physical item they would go through the request to donate um, mm -hmm. because we don't want to just become 
So there is a process um, involving involving. So, so, so it, it was my understanding when we were doing this that they were going to request a donate and then they would receive this agreement. If they're approved, yes. If they're approved. Exactly right. Okay, is that going to be similar once it's approved through the city? I guess we'll have to see, but I imagine because the the donation agreement form wouldn't be available online, that would probably be, uh, I guess we'll have to see. But I think the idea is that the request to donate form is available freely on the website for anybody yes. that wants to reach out, hey, I have an item. Which is what we really and that would wanted be the first part. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's the piece that's still outlined, aside from it going through the city's process, is getting these things on the website so that they're easily accessible to everyone who wants to donate yeah. Um, yeah. either monetary funds or yeah. items. Okay. And so, I've shared this with the committee more times than we can count, but this has been on my racial list, so thank you all again for this. this, is just, this is so does anyone have questions about any specifics? Did everyone get a chance to read through the policy itself? Okay, any questions about the specifics or um, any for clarification? Of anything? Does it look good to everyone? Is there any questions about any of it? So I think um, at this point, if there are no questions about it, then I'm going to move that we approve this donation policy and guidelines and the content of the forms to be submitted to the city for legal review of what they need to do for their process. I'll second. Okay, Alan Baker? Aye. 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 Okay, that was a unanimous approval. Um, I didn't say all in the name, but I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so that one was very good. A lot of work done there, so that was very well done. Yeah, it, was, it was fun to work on that. Was good. Uh, the next thing, oh, can I move on, or is there any other discussion? Okay. Um, updated video discussion. And uh, that's, on, that's for me. Um, so we got an opportunity to see a presentation by Sparrow Pod Media, and um, it was very awesome. Um, we discussed it with our purchasing department, and we, we have to open it up for the city to the, to, the, to, the, to a larger Other audience. Yes. Yes. So um, we've got two ways of moving forward. Um, the dollar value, um, gives us some flexibility because it doesn't hit a certain threshold that requires a, a very formal, laborious process, but we do need to have a, to a total of at least four bids. Uh, oh, for a like four. four. Yeah, so um, to continue with this process, it's um, it'll be Brittany or, and, and Kristen trying to identify four different groups in the Northern Colorado or Colorado area um, who do similar type of work. Yeah, and, and source it. That was. I think one thing. Um, this came up quickly, and we did see a wonderful presentation this mm -hmm. yes. But I think we need to uh, put together uh, parameters mm -hmm. that we want to include in this. And that way, um, if we have parameters, then each group would be equally. You know, yes. they they know what yeah. to present yeah. because mm -hmm. otherwise they're going to be all on board, and it would yeah. be very hard to. Come Easier to evaluate. Right. Sure. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Right. parameters are running time, wanting to be available for um, PBS. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I also think one of the parameters we do need to put in place is that it's going to work and pick up, hook up with our QR code status in addition to I threw at them at the last meeting mm -hmm. that they weren't even aware of anymore. Mm -hmm. So so that's going to put in another thing, and but I think. Crucially for what we want to grow in the house, I think that's something that. Can you we'll explain that a little? Okay, so when you have a outdoor QR code, not just a sheet of paper, but a think of when you go to any museums or anything mm -hmm. else, they have a permanent right, QR right, right. code that's right there, uh, a plastic right, or right. some laminated or whatever. Um, not just a sheet that's mm -hmm. laminated, but a um, specific. Yeah. Solid material. Solid material, <laughs> thank you. And they click on it and then they can get the video information or, or verbal information about that specific, the fountain or the statues or 
we need to make a decision where we would like or if we had liked one of those things. That was something that I just, yeah. I thought in my head, that's something that would help us for, for if we're not here in the house and somebody's walking through the house and doing this, they can do their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of so I said at the meetings, but yeah. you want to make them more furniture like, you know, I mean, they're nice, they're not, not furniture, but well, not just paper, more a solid, a solid, yes, yeah, and, and something that we can then change at any point, right. because once, once that's there, but this is something that, again, I just threw out at the, at the presentation, um, they weren't even aware of that, under, I was, I'm like, what about this, and um, so that would, should be put in as part of what we would do. Wait a minute, we want the company to create So the as long as something is residing on the internet, so say a YouTube channel, the city has a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. if this is uploaded into the YouTube channel, it's a QR code just references a URL. Right? Yes. And that can be created. What we want as a deliverable from the agency is a web-sized version of the documentary. Thank you. So that that as long as, long as, 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 long as we have that. I was that getting confused because I was thinking, are they supposed to put QR codes all over the house? No. So okay, the no. QR code, the links of address pointing to where we put it online, that will be on our end, not okay. not the not, end, the not the company. But um, for example, the the quality and the size of the file for a documentary that. Um, might look really good on IMAX theater mm -hmm. is much, much, much larger than the version that you're looking on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a difference in size. Okay, so, thank you. Um, we thank just you want it in different it sizes, right. which is, uh, if they're in that business, right. they so, get that. They are. So, okay, so they would all have this. We can we can specify that we want it in different sizes. Okay, and they understand. That. Yes. Okay. As long as if it's in the yeah, room, that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> Thank you, and I apologize. I'm not articulating that no, as well as I no. But basically, in my in my head, I I think this would be bringing us up yeah. to a higher. So yeah, but so we do need to, and I don't know who's the lead there, but we have to have the um, parameters pretty pretty accurately described so that everybody gets a fair shot. Mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. And that may realistically with the onboarding that Brittany's doing, and she's doing a phenomenal job, and Kristen's doing a great job getting getting up to speed yeah. with this piece, um, you're probably looking, if you guys wanted to um, look at a, a draft, you're probably looking at an October meeting okay. um, to maybe do more discussion. That, that would get you past some some big events that you guys are involved with, mm -hmm. right. um, and also give Brittany time to get acclimated to the city with some other different um, committee related activities that she needs to go through. Okay. So that, my, that my recommendation would be to table that until October. Yeah, and actually, that's that's in our favor because if you know we won't be ready to start doing any filming probably till next spring, and the gardens need a little recovery time. Okay. Yeah, you know, they. They had a rough summer, okay. <laughs> so yeah. um, that'll give the guy, because right now I don't think I'd want anybody out there photographing close up. There's a lot of insect damage and right. things, and we, yeah. those darn Japanese beetles. Yeah. I got to see some today. Oh, yeah. Dr. Dr. Gardner. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. They're, they're yeah. insidious. That's what he said. It's yeah. unbelievable yeah. how bad they are. <laughs> we can all go out with a jar of water yeah. and start knocking them in. <laughs> so I'm not going to get out the other day just knocking them yeah. in. I did that at home too. <laughs> Yeah, I can well, that was my Anne's recommendation, and it worked. I mean, yeah. oh, we get out. Yeah. Well, wow, it's just out. <laughs> 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 Whatever you do, don't hang those hang <laughs> <laughs> Japanese beetle bags because that actually right. attracts. Them. Yeah, there's, 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 there's actually no mixed feelings on that. that. It, it oh. does, but they're gonna. We have we're totally infested, and we didn't have the bags, and so yeah. it's, it's that's a. Contention. Which of your neighbors are hanging those bags? <laughs> 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 well, well, you attraction. also were saying oh. something about putting something on the lawn that was helping. Yeah, it's um, it's called a. Let's see. You told us about this. Monkey. Something. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a granule that you put on the lawn. Yeah. You, you know what? Be. Can I email it? Um, Please. To you all, just so you all know for your own home. But maybe here for the garden too, 
that it is this specific granule that you put on in the spring in the lawn and in the uh, fall, and it um, stops the larva from um, being able to continue to live and grow, and then uh, that helps with the grass too because they, 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 they are gangers on two parts of their life cycle as larvae. They get buried into the lawn and um, deep enough in the winter to be protected and come back up in the spring. Mm -hmm. And then they will eat the roots of the grass. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually grass. the critical time of year. Then, yeah. Yeah. Well, Parks came out and put yeah, they something put on that says be safe, and it was for the larvae and the adults. Yeah. They've done that. I don't know what it yeah. was. But, yeah. and so it it is, I was like, wow. It is something you want to do because. <laughs> it'll, it'll kill them in the grass and the lawn so that they won't eat the roots and okay. they can't then grow out of and become adult yeah. and out of the lawn and then come and eat the grass yeah. in the garden. Well, yeah, if you want to email that to us, I can. Yeah, yeah. I will send emails to everyone. So yeah, I'll get to the okay. favorite. No, you have it from here and then everyone has it for their lawn because I think the more we all do this, the better we're all going to be. I feel bad for our uh, western slope because it's going to affect our fresh produce. But because they went after my grapevines. Oh. And here they like the Virginia creeper. Yeah. yeah. And the roses. Yeah, and the roses. I, I didn't realize how bad they were until we had a, a friend that came in on a storm into the garden. And yeah. My husband turned around and they were all over his back. Oh, oh my goodness. Did he bump into something? Did he like bump into something? Just walk in. Because usually, yep, they, 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 like, they like, they like, like anything that's like, oh, I'm like, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. So anyway, so it'll be good though that we have time to get the gardens yeah, perked up for a little bit. Okay, so, um, any more on the video that you want to talk about? So, so basically, we're going to table it until October, and then it was, um, Suellen has called me and talked to me about it, and I'm, you know, I don't want any conflict of interest, so basically we've, we've then set up a committee to, to review. No, so the, the, board's pro, the board's involvement will be the establishment of the criteria of what you would love to have. And that's it. And, and making sure that Brittany has the you know, the concept of what you guys are, are really looking for. Okay. And then at that time, it would move it just into on to a, the city process. I think okay. that is something probably the entire board wants to participate in. So we yes. can set aside time in each meeting. Yes. Well, the, 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 the criteria. Is, yes. Um, yeah, the criteria, what, I think everybody at, at one point, it was discussed that we would view the proposals, and I definitely would step off the comments yeah. conflict of interest. Right. But so you, that it's changed from when we spoke last week. Right. Okay, cool. It's a little bit better. All right. I think if you um, are able to identify and feel really comfortable with your criteria of what you would like to see, then you guys take over. Then, then let it go through the process, and then that that just keeps it simple. Mm -hmm. And right. then as far as selection goes, then yes, city does that. But once selected, then then board can be working, collaborating with as as that company needs yeah, for information I so. and. I think okay. so. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Um, anything else? Okay, let's move on to digitized scrapbook. Who would like to? <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's me, maybe Morgan. Which is wonderful, though, because um, Cindy and Maureen and I met. Um, and Cindy has um, a couple of examples. She took just some mm -hmm. pictures of a couple of pages from the scrapbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we pull that open and show it. Um, because we're trying to um, think of the, the ways that we can digitize the scrapbook and it not cost us much. Um, so uh, just potentially taking the photos ourselves might be one yeah. thing. Um, but in that process, we discussed the need for some equipment, um, such as, I mean, we can stand over something and hold our iPhone or even a, you know, a nice click on over here, but you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be moving. So what would be really helpful uh, to know is what resources within the city we could utilize as far as equipment. Like, could, is there a scanner that we could use that we could scan one page at a time? Or is there a stand, a photo um, um, like a stand tripod that, that you know, holds it. Or, or something that's not a tripod, but more like it's a square because it's going to need to sit up and over and have it if, if, there's, if it's lit or something, so that you, all we do is just 
slide the page underneath mm -hmm. the setup and just click yeah. and the photo is done. Um, so, I, I mean, I think and I would like to hope that our city has lots of beautiful resources like that with all of the things that the city does that are in print and electronic and everything. So we need to know if there's anything that we can be able to use for, for we know. will put in the man hours, but can we use some equipment? Can we go somewhere in the city to use the, the equipment to, to do this? I mean, the, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, the, the next question that we, we were asking ourselves is we want to, if we're doing all this, we want to make sure that we're using compatible software um, that the city, the city uses or city has a license to. Um, to make sure that when we do have this, we can download it to that. And one of the big things when you're looking at, um, it has to have the ability that you can scan it, like what we currently we're using PowerPoint, but you should be able to pause on it and then um, scroll in, some zoom in to see what you, you if you want something more in detail, because some of the articles are really faded. Sure. And when you get close to it, I hate to say it, there's people like me that are blind as a bat and you can't see unless I, 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 I do have that ability. Mm -hmm. Wi Fi. Yeah, Wi Fi. Yeah. I did the same thing years ago. Bob and I had a little tripod and he put his camera up there and we did all of our family photos oh, from the time the kids were little. Right. Do you yeah. still have that? <laughs> that's the question. Well, you know, I want on YouTube also so after our But it can be done. Yeah. 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 I looked at some videos on how people do that. Uh -huh. And there's actually some scanning type machines that, so this one lady really did a couple bunch of videos on it, and they're running the three to $500 range. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But you know, yeah, I mean, Tim, it might be worth the $500. Stuff. It might, I suppose. Yeah, you can also get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's something that would continue to be. Yeah, we could keep it. Well, there's a good point. Yeah, I'm just going to think there's also a good point. Yeah, there are cans. Because it might be higher tech than what we could buy for like five hundred. They might have a ten thousand dollars. Or they might have a ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Risk to bring. Yeah. Um. Or if they would rather than I don't want to bring an expensive machine here. So, so, <laughs> so the idea is that if we can find the equipment, we do it ourselves. Yes. Or this is the quote from someone who's doing it professionally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know the. Just to avoid conflict of interest, that you would like to, to, if the decision is made that we're ready to proceed forward to recover funds to digitize the scrapbooks at this time, it is helpful for a city staff member to solicit those the contacts That's a good point. so that we are not yes. um, cherry picking whose business is getting. Our business. And plus, right. you have more context. Right. Right. So, so um, first, right. first, check within the city. We've got to have some equipment, right? Yeah. I mean, the city's got to have some well, equipment. Well, and we have no, no cost. If, if, if we were to right. just right. be loaned something for free, there's one thing. But yeah. right. if if there's a specific company that, that is used as a source, you know, we can at least say this is a source that we know of. Can we right. then hand it back? Right. And is this it. your priority over? There's a lot of things bubbling here, right? So that you guys know, we are onboarding new staff, we are getting things going. Mm -hmm. Do you want this and have other things fall down? What is the priority that you want addressed? We can, you, they we can't, you, there's no way to do all of them at one time. This there's is this lower on the priority list, I think. And, and it's but an idea of keeping it up which as, as yeah. connections are being made. Um, that, that because there's opportunities within the city where the city is mindful about having staff connect with people from other departments and other places and to allow those things for, for you know, that's a need. And so when she's connecting with people at planning or connecting with people at these different areas, um, new people at the museum and stuff like that, then she'll get an awareness, you know, able to connect with those things. 
it's going in that I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying, Sue, but we're also looking at doing this as a board project in the sense that we're putting the time in and we're putting the energy into this. We're not asking city staff to put additional time or energy into it. I mean, we're asking specific questions like, can we use the equipment? Can we use it? Is there equipment? Can right now, it? there's not equipment beyond your standard scanning uh, Xerox. So, okay. so, so that's, so that's, that's the same question. So the so planning the, department, the, or um, they don't have. So I've got to find out who to contact. I've got to find out someone. Ha it's a process that takes time, right. and at the moment, you don't have a lot of that. <laughs> I wasn't even. You know, there's there's this piece. Um, I'm just saying there's a. It's not your high priority, and it's also not the high priority at the moment with the other things that have already gone through at, at the board. Um, so I, I hear you, and I hear the request to have a more exhaustive search with the city to see if they have equipment existing that's capable of 12 by 12 scanning. So, so we can start there. We can start there. Okay. I know, yeah, I mean, at least we can work to that. that. It's an iPhone. They made a video for me for summer camp. We want an iPhone. Um, so, it, you know. Simple. Yeah, that's. that's yeah, so back like to your get a frame. No. Put your picture up there. Yeah. If you so, okay. so, okay. <laughs> that answers, in, in a lot of ways, that answers my question. So, that takes up. The one thing I do ask then is if you're putting in a format, what is the, what is a format that is a license under the city so when they put it on on the website and somebody wants to access the scrapbooks we need to know which program they're using that we're covering the same licensing that we're not overstepping in that sense so what would the they need to be a jpeg or a pdf so it's an, uh, your standard image file or um, a, a pdf and Brittany's going to a number of classes this month about ADA um, okay. PDFs, ADA Word, you know, different things. So. Okay, that's yeah, what. Tie in. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we can tie in and we can save it yep. on yep. Earn the Battle. Yep. All right, cool. But I can start, you know, trying to figure out who to talk to about what, what if any, equipment is available and we can go from there. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. So on the scrapbooks now, are they all at your house now? Okay, then so once we they need to come back to the Callahan house at this time because then that will give Brittany access. They need to be here, and Brittany has access to them. She knows the size that she can move forward on the project. So, the so we're ones that aren't actively being worked on right now need to come back to the Callahan house. That's where they are, that's where they belong. Yeah. You can connect about that. You can kind of, I can help you. So, yes. we can use Bring them. like. The big point that we're trying to do is keep consistency in lighting and everything else. Mm -hmm. And so the point that we're hoping is that once we get it up to where they're supposed to be, um, we've got a system going with lights just to it fluently mm -hmm. and just take the pictures. Just make yeah, cool. I think if we find that there's equipment, we'll either have to mm -hmm. use it wherever it lives or if it can come here, we can do it here. Mm -hmm. Those would probably be the two options, I imagine. I just need to be responsible for really expensive equipment. Yeah, probably <laughs> with me using it where it is. Yeah, like, I'll look for the tripod that I'm going to be scenario. But yeah, yeah, you can start digging into those because potential options and then so we can go from there. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, there's a lot of bright all sticks in the fire right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay, so anything else on digitize? Did you want to? Oh, yes, and you got some Oh, it was it's just, just too. Pages and this just happens to be in PowerPoint, but um, just to show you what it looks like if it is a phone snapshot. Um, this one's a little tough uh, because the articles are kind of okay. hard to read to begin with. And but dated. you can stretch them, right? Well, and yeah, and this is, I think this is uh, 300 dpi, they could be 600 dpi. Mm -hmm. um, however, if it's going to be something online, I'm sure you don't want it to be 
a, a really big file because uh, right. it'll take forever to, to load download yeah. or yeah so that was the other question so we should talk but this is probably not the best example unless you feel that there are a lot of other articles that are kind of fake they, like they that. are like that that's oh, exactly why we chose that page to work on to see mm -hmm. if okay what how, how and, I mean in that case a scan might be better than a photo because it's yeah. from so, this yeah. distance I can't I mean it looks to me like if I were closer I could read it I'm just a mile away the question that you're, yeah. if you're going through the pages kind of like online mm -hmm. if you could take a pause on any one page and then you scroll in yeah stretch out. it out a little well, ideally it would be to have the text available outside of this document mm -hmm. so that someone could download or read the yeah, yeah, there's some of it too because with ADA compliance, all you can't require to have the alternative text. Oh, I was just so, thinking, which is I think and if it's doable. doable. On their phone instead of uh, on their computer, it has to be components that can be rearranged, right? That's, that's yeah. part of our website. Yeah. 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 Um, I was wondering if we could talk to somebody like with the Times Call or any of those papers that are now online. Like we canceled our paper subscription and we just get ours. Online, and it's exactly the same. I mean, you've got the same, it looks just like you're reading a newspaper, you know. I wonder click if you on can, it and it gets big, yeah, you can make it stretch it or click on it and make it bigger. I love it. Um, but I'm just wondering if we could maybe talk to them about their technology or how did they because it's really improved, yeah. Because a couple of years ago, I hated the online stuff, you could, you know, it, but now it's great. Um, and I just wondered. It has to do with the software. So I don't yeah. know if the city does anything like So that. taking digitizing the scrapbooks is, is the picture portion of it. If you want people to be able to read what these say, that to me is would be a, a great opportunity if the board was interested to go through the scrapbook and, and type out each article yeah, so that it's available <laughs> in ADA format so that people can have access to what these things and are. And maybe that's what we need to do. And that, if that's what we're going to put us where we should be. Yeah. It, that, that is why a higher resolution. Huge that's credit. why a higher resolution file is just going to be more important than We cannot HIV put it on, on but it has to be, be it has to be done now. It has to be, it's, it's but be I think, regardless, right? Yeah, regardless. but I think that's it could be saying. summarized, I think. I'll learn more at the next training, but I think based on what Ian was saying, that it might. Like the art, you could say this image is of this page. These are name, perfect theme cards. This is a question for you. Summarizing awesome. this yeah. thing, awesome. Could be. It could need to be typed out. Yeah, not sure, but it could be. Could be. The summary might suffice. Okay. So, so don't we just zoom out. in on that picture? You know, like I said, if I do. Well, she's in a PowerPoint, so right now. Yeah. Oh. No. But uh, when I had it in Photoshop um, to begin with. Um, I can, you know, make it larger, but it wasn't a great improvement because it's so scant. Yeah, got too great even the letters to begin with. Right. So, so and I look at this as a long term project. This isn't going to happen over a, a, a whole day or a weekend. And if we do have start to make, seeing what's available, and if we have to meet the requirements of exactly what you're saying, that's what we need to be aware of. So. It might be a project where one of us takes it on and, and off it for five or ten or five. <laughs> well, let her find out. Yeah, yeah. let's find out. Yeah, yeah, let's mean, find out. Not, if we can get it so that people can zoom in to read it and that, so that it's ADA accessible yeah. in the summary, then that's great. That would be the best. Yeah. Oh, we'll find out. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, she be determined. To be determined. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just saving it. Yeah, I like the idea for them to be available for everyone. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to figure out the best way we can get. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, new business. Um, does that, I guess, fall in with Miss Antique? So the yeah, items from staff. Um, is that where we're at? Yes. Okay. Um, before this over, actually, I have one other little bit. Um, so I got a call from. Um, her name is Edie, and she is with PEO. Um, all of PEO of Longmont is celebrating their Founders Day on January 20th. Um, so she called to see if we might be interested in 
one of the four, I figured one of the board, but wanted to put it out and see if anybody was interested, is going to their Founders Day gathering and doing a 30 minute um, presentation on the history of the Callahan's and the house. Um, so I thought that was a really cool opportunity. Obviously we're already have ties with PEO. So, so there's for a program. They're exactly they're looking for a program. Um, so there's 200 women attending. Uh, their program starts at 10 and there'll be a 30 minute presentation at some point during their program. She wasn't sure exactly at the time, but we do need to have a decision to them by the beginning of October. And I believe they're also kind of searching out for other opportunities as well. They're not necessarily just waiting for us to what's, say yes what's or the no. January date? Uh, January 20th. So I thought that that someone from the board might be interested. Um, more more I also, it probably doesn't have to be one person. You know, people want to collaborate. Why don't, why don't we mm -hmm. collaborate? I'm sure that if multiple people are interested, you could collaborate. Yes. I'm sure yes. it doesn't have to be one person. We want to more the merrier. Yeah, that's too great. Participate should be included. Yeah, so if you want to form a committee, you should open it up to do it. Yeah. So, but I thought that some of them might be interested. Is this yeah. the work where they actually they're acting the parts? Or is it no, on no? occasion just, we've done that. Okay, done. things, but <laughs> yeah. just, they're just different programs for roles. Yeah, yeah. How, yes. You don't want to wear a so, No, you don't have to dress up in period. No, no. and really, <laughs> she's good. 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 She's Nice. It's here in Longmont. Um, it's here in Longmont. Um, it's in the yeah, it's, it's, all, it's the all of Longmont Founders Day Journey of Long celebration. Long so that's very exciting. That's very exciting. Yeah. Um, so breakfast. shall I follow up and say yes, we're interested? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, there's plenty of interest. It's okay. Um, and yeah, that's not till January, so I can let you know if, if that is still available and open. Um, she did also mention that they would pay a fee for us to do that. I don't know if we want to charge her a fee or not, but she did ask what we would charge. Nice I was just going to say, nice nice yeah. yeah. if they want to make a donation to the yes. house, that, that would be great. That would be a nice donation. So, that's what's different. And we, yeah. could, we could leave it open to whatever they want to donate, or we could give yeah. a suggested donation, or I'll leave that open for yeah. discussion, thought, maybe for the next meeting. Well, we were but, willing to do it for free here for two minutes ago. So. I like <laughs> So I'll just follow up with her and say yes, we're interested. I'll get more information and then we can reconvene on that. So if we want to add that to um, uh, to talk about the next whole well, business for next meeting, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay, I figured that that would be fun. Um, okay, and do, then do, do we have to sign up for the training? Uh, no, the the yeah, binary training. No, you can just show up. Okay, so. Yeah. Yes, that was the other thing. Yeah, again, I'll be out of, out of, That's okay. I saw. Yeah, it's certainly not required, but it is so open to board members if you'd like to join. No pressure, but if you'd like to go, you can just go. Yeah. And Kristen and I will both be there, and whoever wants to can go. It's a good training. So, yeah, sounds good. That's not, unfortunately, I'll be out of town. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so anything else about the Founders Day? Or? Cool. Um, so, yeah, the other item here. It's kind of an interesting one. I don't know if we've had anything like this come up before, but um, basically someone, uh, a Longmont citizen, contacted me and said, I have this antique circa 1930s sofa that looks to be in very immaculate condition. Um, and are we interested? She does prefer to sell it for $350. She also contacted Boulderado and Homer Home. Um, but is open to donating it if no one is interested in purchasing it. And so it's this is really, you know, maybe we're interested in it, maybe we're not. Um, you know, and we have to obviously, I would have to decide about if we have the funds for that or if we want to use funds for that, but it's also just kind of a practice in, and this isn't, it could be a donation or it might not be a donation, but with the new donations policy that is still being worked on, it's kind of a practice in, in thinking about when these things come up, how we want to decide if they are worthwhile to us or not, and if we want to use funds for certain things or not. Um, so yeah, that's, that's great. That's kind of the idea, and I know that yeah. there's some some uh, 
might have realized the piano here in this <laughs> room. You know, that's the other thing. Do we have room in the house? Do we have I room was the dimensions on this. Do we? Yeah, I don't know that. Actually, don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share that this opportunity came up and kind of get a, get a feeling for what thoughts are on acquiring things for the house moving forward. Not necessarily, you know, yes, this is just, okay, this is, this is cool, but we move on, or just to kind of get an idea of how we feel about acquiring new items for the house. Do we want to kind of fill things in and, and feel more of that sort of Victorian Queen Anne aesthetic, more talking points for people coming through the house, more bits of history of interest for educational purposes. So I just thought, that, you know, this kind of brought up all of those things. And I wanted to hear from you all about how you feel. Just, just a question about that. Um, when, you, when you have weddings and the weather's bad and it has to be inside, do you ever, are you ever lacking seating? I'm just wondering if this is helpful in that regard or if there's, you know, even a yeah, need for that. Yeah. It's a good question. I don't know for sure. I've only seen one wedding so far. Um, mm -hmm. But and the other, that is something to consider too. You know, do we have space for it? Is it going to be right. in the way when we need to send well, that the clubs? We have the dimensions. That's yeah. my biggest question. Yeah. All the junk furniture. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> With weddings, they either rent the inside and the outside, or just the inside, or yeah. just the outside. Typically, if they're if it's summer season and they're renting outside, they don't. They kind of have to know that there's yeah. not a plan B for weddings. <laughs> there's too many people. Right. right. Yeah, we can't let them know. So, so anyway, I just kind of wanted to, you know, whether we are very interested in this couch or not, just kind of see about moving forward if we're interested in acquiring yeah. new items for the house. Yeah. We would have to talk about more because Brooke, mm -hmm. where would, you have a couple ideas here. Right? Yeah, where could it go? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like maybe the auto house is a good yeah. kind of like revamp that, that space was, a little. I was going to say, I think that would probably be the only place I would consider yeah. putting this, and that would be replacing the couch that's out there already, but I don't know that we would want to do that. Yeah, it's just something fun. It is, it is. Yeah. right. Just yeah, because I think the one that's out there is not really, it's, it's not historic. But no, it looks nice. It goes with and it serves its purpose. It and so, do we need to replace it? No. Do we want to with this some, something that's more historic? Maybe. But that would be the only thing I would yeah. say. So that might be a good fit for that. This is a very large item. I don't think a lot of large items will be coming up. No, no, no. Right. Could that. you ask for the um, dimensions? Yeah, I can ask the dimensions. And the other thing I can do is say, you know, it's interesting. If you do want to donate it, maybe let us know. Yeah. But at this time, we're not interested in purchasing it. Or, yeah. I, I don't you know. See but I just kind of wanted to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. The funds. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's certainly not a need. No. No. Right. But it's, it's a potential want. opportunity. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 I like the colors too for the Yeah, the colors are yeah. cool. It's very well. Yeah. Yeah. It's very well. Um, so yeah, I can say if you do decide to donate it, let us know. And you know, she may have already sold it by this time. Right? Yeah, but yes, no, I just wanted to get and, and what are our thoughts about moving forward, acquiring items for the house? Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, is that something that we're interested in? Kind of goes along with the in kind donations, mm -hmm. and it'll be obviously case by case basis. Exactly. Right. It was a the item. Yeah. 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 We're not looking for something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not actively mm -hmm. soliciting. Yeah. yeah. So it'll depend on the item. Yeah. And that brings up okay. another point here that I think I'll just bring it up now. Um, informally, we kind of talked about the piano there. And like, what are we going to do with that thing? But um, Cindy found a, a rather nice looking older piano. Oh, yeah. You would find it on here. <clears throat> Again, there's been some funds involved in this, and they don't, it's free, but you have to move it. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to, I mean, not that I'm moving forward on anything, but I'm just trying to find out what bids for moving colors yes. on moving a piano. And how it's just more period looking than the one here. Does anybody know the story on this piano? Why we have <coughs> It was, it was just, just right. donated. It was, it was just donated. It is not. So it is, there's no reason we have to keep it. Because the eye to the house. Exactly. The upstairs one does, but this one right. does not. So this, this one is not disposed of. Right. It was just donated. And the upstairs one is more period time. Period, and it's also more. It's been. It's, 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 it's useful. Yeah. It is. And it is. It is you could play a, have a, a, a pianist really play on it. Now the nice thing about this piano, if we did get rid of it, is it's nice to put things on. It's like a shelf. 
we're using it as a shelf, like we can take pictures. And yeah. So if we did get rid of it, it'd be nice to put some work. kind of a shelf unit there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the TV need to be there all the time? No. Uh -huh. The only reason it was there, I think, was for storage. It typically then gets moved upstairs into the meeting room mm -hmm. for open houses to run out the video. Which we'll need to do anyway. And so and then maybe we'll, um, I think I think she find a place for it. Previously, we have it on in the closet. It's like the only. <laughs> In, in the closet, in something there um, for she, memorial and she was doing she did you know, up quite other bit. activity but oh, okay. not it really doesn't have to just okay here's a picture yeah, i'm sure that. it's hard to i can see if yeah, you turn it there open perfect right there which yeah. is a little more now does it say if it works oh yeah it says it's yeah, been recently tuned up and it's um been like whatever they call it when it's just, the grain of the wood is small. Yeah, no, right. it's yeah. the, the bench is uh, bench is not in bench. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. 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 It was professionally yeah. in 2020. It was professionally standard tuned and clean. There was a small permanent marker spot on one of the keys. She could not get off. Worked worked great for being 100 years old. Must pick up and haul away. We are moving to San Diego. We cannot take it with us. So they're kind of. You know, for time. Yeah. Um, but it is pretty much. When I looked at the picture, I'm, that's much nicer than what we yeah. have. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Are the dimensions on it? I, I didn't look. I didn't. Oh, look that so they're probably pretty good point. Here, but I didn't look yeah. to see if there were dimensions. Yeah. Well, I, I can think, ask her if we're potentially interested. Um, Cindy, would that be okay, Cindy? Looks at some some bids for moving companies. That would or... probably be more staff related. Okay, and then okay. you know, okay. and, and then we also have to it's it's not decided about the city staff. Yeah, no. And yeah. also we have to get if we have the fines or if we want to use the funds. Yeah, yeah. we have to so find out. Take point. this one away and put that one in. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. So, well, I think you pay to get rid of them, don't you? Or okay. you go to free dump day. Oh, we're the city. We can dump. <laughs> well, I'm sure someone would be interested in it rather than ending up in a dump. Yeah, that was but a zucchini. I have a lot to comment. Nobody, yeah. nobody yeah. wants them. Nobody wants them. We know how to try four times a year they have a free dump day. It has to be a pickup load. Well, that's about a pickup load. Well, maybe yeah. we can find somebody that wants to come pick so up. So it kind of goes back to that, that concept of is it a priority? Yeah. Um, of, is it a budgetary priority? Is it a priority for the to the board to actively update? Acquire the thing items is, yeah. within the. The trouble is with this piano. If if it's as nice as it looks, I mean, if there's time, we have a time constraint. In other words, they want only they're going to San Diego, right? right? Mm -hmm. So if we wanted it, we would have to. I would just make one observation here. I haven't seen the sofa in the auto house, but I certainly have seen the piano here, and if when people want to donate an in-kind item we're saying that in our guidelines it needs to be historic and blah 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 it's hard to what if somebody looks at that and says well what's that doing there yeah well, this is a policy yeah, set at this pre time pre it's a grandfather grandfather, grandfather. Okay. okay but it helps us to make better decisions with those things moving forward yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Point. yeah. so i totally yeah. understand that the decision ends up being it's too much, it just costs too much to move it. Um, and it needs well, to I don't be mind handy. getting some information about potential costs if you want to reach out to that and see if it's still available. It is available. And I then, checked up here this morning. Okay. And I, I've got three requests for bids in right now. I actually think that with the wood being similar to the wood that's in the music room, I think it would look pretty good. I think it would look really good really? there. Um, again, so you've already got some go back. some potential prices for moving. Uh, I hope to get it today. But she's what well, she said. She's got three. Um, yeah, three yeah. parties out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess it'd be worth you know looking at it. In, the pictures are wonderful. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you want to go look at it just to make sure. Yeah. Oh, where, absolutely. Yeah, where is it? It's in Love One. That's the one. Oh, the draw. So that that also makes the price of the moving yeah. little. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty expensive to get it down here. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll well, hear you. Now, if you get some bids, I guess you could send it out to everybody before the next meeting so you kind of have that information. Oh, oh boy. I mean, to I mean, be before the next meeting? meeting. Oh, no, I don't say, I didn't mean get it before. I said if oh. we happen to get it for you before. 
Yeah. Well, I, I don't think we can wait for all these meetings. So she, they want to move. If so, you just provide, but in your guidance, if it's a priority for you to acquire items, then that kind of that becomes a, a city budgetary issue where they find out how much it costs to do that. Brittany has to make a case for her supervisor and all that stuff to to make that purchase. So it's just taking the information you guys have in the direction that you would advise. Okay. And then that allows her to be nimble oh, okay. and honoring yeah. what your intention is. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. And, and she may not be able to... Um, yeah. That's going to be a case-by-case case basis. Yes. You know, if yes. it's possible or not possible. Right. But um, this way it doesn't lock you guys into... You have to be available for 45 days. <laughs> yeah. We have to have another meeting. We have yeah, right. such a right. chance to make a request. We yeah. need to make sure that we ask that we're both people. I think it really it comes down to I think we need to um, make a decision if this is what we really want to do. If we, if we want the funds to go for the piano, uh, or do we want to um, just move on? Um, I would suggest finding out how much we it need to know might be to move, yeah, yeah. and then you all can discuss and say yes, we'd like to move forward, and then it comes to me to decide if we can move forward. Okay. I, I don't think we want to have time. time, so yeah, I do that. Do you yeah. want yeah. to? Oh, I don't mean over the course of the next meeting. I mean, like you can find out what the prices are, let the board know, and if you all collectively in the next couple of days say yes, we want to move forward. Then it There's one thing to see got, if we can. That I, we've got in trouble for doing yeah. that. Yeah. That's I also, one of the things yeah. we can't do that on. Uh, make decisions. Correct. Yeah, we can't make what if it's a So the decision, the decision is: Do you want to place a priority on acquiring large items of historical significance when they pop up, okay. if they have the appropriate time period and aesthetic of the house? I was going to say too. We don't, as a board, I, I, I don't anyway know what our financial situation is. Really, I don't know how much money we have that we can use discretional money I guess so I guess all we can do is say we're interested in this and you guys make the decision Correct. if we have enough money. Correct. Right. And then do we want to use money that we might need for something else? Correct. You know because so it's a fine it's it's a finite amount. It is. Money is finite. So whether it's dedicated to putting the money towards the acquisition of pieces or towards the the digitizing process of the scrapbooks right. or towards video. the video. These are all things that compete for resources. Yeah. And so, it's yeah. like what priority do you have? So if priority one is the video, priority two is the digital scrapbook, and then priority three is the acquisition of historical significance, where are these fitting? That's what we need you to know, do. So that's the direction that, that is helpful for Brittany as she moves forward because that provides her would it be nice to do that now you know not, not just talk about our priorities or do we want to put that let us all think about it or and talk about it next think time about thinking about it and talk about it next time probably yeah because you could kind of stew on it because um, many can be included right so we should think that's important so let's put that and on then, for the next days. part that comes um compared with it is that we need to know what this um, the balance of the Calhoun House Fund it was sixty thousand at one point, and certainly before we even did, um, did the grant application, and none of those funds were being earmarked for any of the grant work because we had sixty thousand from the city uh, to match the one hundred and eighty grant for the two hundred forty thousand dollar grant projects. Um, so all of what was in the Calhoun House Fund should still be there because nothing's been acquired or purchased. Nothing's been used from the Calhoun House Fund. So we should have down about sixty thousand dollars here. Which most likely it's there. So, so the request is the request is where the priorities are, not not. But it also is do we have funds? Well, obviously well, the city done. had and funds because the Callahan is supported by the city. There are funds dedicated annually to the operation and upkeep of the Callahan House. Right, but that's yes, but we should be, but we, we, but we should yeah. be able to use 
the fund, which is the Callahan House it's Fund, which yeah, is the, separate. It was operations yeah. budget it was separate yeah. from the Callahan House Fund. And the city, the city is tasked with the budgetary process of the Callahan House. Yeah. And yeah. that that is not going to change as far as I am I aware, because it is a city facility, it's a city budgeted piece. The advisory board provides a lot of great information that we need, and one of the pieces is just where that priority is. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that really our job. that budget is a, a million dollars or a hundred dollars, it don't I don't know that that would change your priority of how you want things to be exactly. addressed. Well, I guess what we're I'm trying to fill out who, and it's not like I made a decision on this, but it seems to me that we have. We should have the Callahan House Fund that we should be able to tap for specific items. And if we prioritize, and again, it's a question whether we prioritize the fund specifically to buy more historic pieces budgetarily, and then we use the budget items for from the city to look at doing something like the video, and the, we should be able to recommend that. Yes. I would agree. I think that's that's stated that way. Totally in in agreement with that. Okay. Um. Um. The, I, I guess is that is that what you're thinking that we should have the ability to use the funds, the Callahan House funds, because those Make funds were specifically for them to be used that way. That's, um. Yes, for the board to recommend that funds that are in the Callahan House fund. Be used for historic um, property. That is a recommendation um, that could be made as a priority. That's what should be allowed to happen. Now, what the city does with the budgeting process overall with regard to operations, that's the city's decision. While we can suggest or recommend some specific things be included in an annual budget that the city creates for the Callahan House, mm -hmm. the Callahan House Fund. Is its own separate pot that is all the proceeds from fundraisers and other things that we've chosen to use. And proceeds from um, revenue generating events go into that for the purpose of preserving and restoring anything right. as and, needed. And your priorities and that has what comes from the advice from the board right. saying, you know what, we need to do sign. that. We have the That's funds. A perfect example exactly. of that. We need to do that. We have the funds in the Callahan House Fund to be able to do that. That's what we. Totally in agreement. Done. That's what we should continue to do. Right. So, yes. Um, I just Googled quickly what's the cost to move a piano. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's $89 an hour with two movers, it says. I mean, this is just a ballpark. Yeah, yeah. Just to give you some feel for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Anywhere from, well, it's not going to be $100. It's 350 to 450 probably. Mm -hmm. Do they have a minimum? Like, do they talk yeah. about mileage at all? No, okay. this is just a ballpark. Yeah. I mean, it's a bunch of them you could Google and they yeah. call you back. It's and not. So that's say we're that's not as much as I thought. I was, I was, say, I was thinking thousands. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's actually yeah. quite That makes, it, makes me go, well, yeah. yeah, let's actually think about it. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Worth it for the historic piece, and then we have to figure out what we do with that. Right. Yeah. Now, and then we need to go in the carriage. Yeah. 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 Well, we can go into the, the, the auto house for a while. It's nice and be collected. Hefty guys. Well, we just broke for the city for what purpose? To remove that. To go and dispose of the piano. Well, I think, I mean, there may be some. Some costs involved in that, and we'll just find out. This, yeah, the city doesn't going. get things free. No, I, I wish yeah. we still pay for that, and the Callahan would right. be responsible for covering the cost of removal if there's Actually, ideally, maybe we could list it for someone that's interested in having it. I know you said that the chances of that might be. Well, it doesn't work. really slim, yeah. yeah. It's like zucchini. Yeah. But I think it's not seeing if someone's well, interested. Yeah. Can, yeah. It's been two months to pay to take it out, and it does not hold it too much. No. It, it's, right. it, it needs to be part right. of a bonfire. So I think <laughs> yeah, equally at the time when if we're interested in moving forward with this, we also need to be pretty yeah, high yeah. rid of the other one. Right. Because right. it's all local. Inclusive. Yes. There is a local uh, guy in Longmont who uh, makes himself available to bring your items to the dump and for fifty dollars he'll, you know, fill up his pickup with your stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I did 
do that once. Oh, that's oh, an excellent idea. Right. And one eight hundred gut junction. Yeah. They oh, is that another one? one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. excellent. And how much does this cost? They charge per space in the truck, and so okay. that would not take much space in their truck. I would imagine that's you true. Know, to come charge this upright space, space. Yeah. upright yeah. space this for us. I think this person would have to be contracted. If you know, we'll, we'll, that, that piece will get taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, that piece will get taken care of. I guess the bigger question is back to that. Right. Do you guys want, is it a priority to have Brittany be aware of uh, larger items of historical significance to upgrade the pieces in the house? It's, it's not something that, okay. It's a it's case by, by case. It's case by case. case. By because it doesn't so, happen. Whereas we had off. this come up, we, 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 thought, thought, we thought about it, we thought about it here. Ah, mm -hmm. With the piano, that's more significant. It's like, hmm, maybe we do want to do that. So it's not a matter of an overarching, well, you know, do you want to be looking for historical? It's a matter of case by case. And so this is it's something yes, yes. interesting. This, yeah. This yeah. particular case, it's a functional thing. I wonder if. When you're create, we're creating these immersion events where yeah, you're experiencing the time in the past. Perhaps there's a piano player that could be brought in to play some of the music. In, in the, the past, time. we've had concerts here, mm -hmm. and okay. that would be something that would be if we had a functioning. The, yeah. the only truly uh, good instrument that we've got in the house is the one upstairs. This one is oh, just yeah. not. Yeah, it's just not true. Right. So, so we had a couple of options. We could look at removing this piano completely. We could also look at moving the piano that's in existence upstairs down. No, no, no. Do we'll do that. Okay. Plus, they have recitals up there. You need that space. Yeah, I would leave Alice's up or, there. But this one is, yeah, it's not functional. So, the general idea is that. Yes, you are interested in piano. Yes. Um, so then I think to move forward. So Again, we well, we need a vote. I was going to say. We need yeah, a vote. Let's yeah, vote. Yeah, yeah. So let's pull this to a vote that we want to prioritize. Just, you know, this is on an individual basis. This is just a that piano. Case. So at least look into it. How do we want to word this? We want to prioritize. And we have to act fast enough for these people. I, I would like, I'm going to put forth a motion that we vote on. Okay. I put forth a motion that we, we um, put it to a vote whether we prioritize this specific item as uh, as the piano coming into the house. I'll, I'll, I'll second that we're going to prioritize. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No? Okay, unanimous. Okay. Yeah. So I think the next steps are is that okay then to use the bits that Cindy is already in the process of requiring? If you want to pass those along to Brittany okay. and then we'll move on there. Is there a little bit of more information? Um, because some of them are asking for, you know, what's the surface like at the residence and so on. That's what I want to know. Should I just pass it on to you to answer those questions? Sure. Right. And, yeah. and that means that you need to contact this um, Facebook seller. Yeah. Um, yeah, would it be okay if, since you've been in contact with them, you can send me that information, but let them yeah. know reach out. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like today. I, or, I so that they know, she like, said she was okay, excited about, because I said, it's possibly going to be, or if we did get it, it would be in the historic Callahan house, blah, blah, blah. And she said, oh, that, I, that would be so exciting. She said, the only thing is I need to do it quickly. Because I asked if she'd hold it until this meeting today or midday today, if we decided. And she said, I would love it if you could get it, but I, I do need to give it to the first person. Okay. I so anyway, okay. I'm just telling you what yeah. So, yeah, if you want to connect with them and say that I will connect. Okay. Communicate with this person? That's a good okay. question. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, you can connect with them and say, yes, we'd like to move forward, and then I will reach out to them. Today, but just so that they hear back from you to say Callahan House is interested, and but I need to indicate that it's not a final decision because we don't know the cost yet. Okay. Right? 
Um, I think it's. I think from from what Karen found, it's going to be fairly reasonable. It's fairly reasonable. Unless you're a five hundred and five thousand dollars. I think the bottom line is, if it blows over the top and we think it's over extreme, and Brittany, I, you have good taste and judgment. Right. We'll trust you. We that. trust yes. you in that. Okay. If you yes. think it's too much and it has reached over the limit, then just. Yeah. Okay. Just but I would say yes, we're interested. interested. In we're working on moving forward with the bird, okay. and then I will reach out. But, okay. And then Cindy, please also give Brittany um, your contact for who um, came and got the things from your house that were oh, yeah. And then Monty, where did that jump from? So remove that old piano. Okay. Inexpensive so removals. Inexpensive yes. removals. Just thinking of solutions to remove the old. Okay. And then, yeah, if you can send me that link. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you're in access. So, yeah. I really yeah. respect and hear what you're saying. So, I think. I think the bottom line is this is only comes up as a case by case basis. And I also think that having a music room without having a, a instrument in it just doesn't seem right. Yeah. Um, it's true. With a couch in it, yeah. But but um, then I think I do have to agree that okay. If we as a board are working on a project and we can kind of have it come in and, and do it inexpensively free and it, we're donating on time to do it that's one thing but then the video is something I don't I know I don't have the expertise to do I don't know anybody else on the board that's willing to do that and we've already talked about possibly bringing that forward so in I, I guess is that something we need to take a vote on is that what you're recommending to put no, priorities. No, I think we've already put it forward um, yeah. for the city to move forward with the video. We're moving and forward with it as their next yeah. step. Uh, I guess, and and, and I just work with Brittany. Brittany did. We're we're doing a what is a personality disc profile. We are not in the same place, which is <laughs> perfect and awesome. Um, I prefer some structure. Like, where do you want to focus energy on? And if something has to fall, the focus Wait, would go on the higher ones. Right. That, that works for me, for for a way of moving forward. Brittany will have her own preferences of things okay. about if she has time to work on this or this, okay. when it's priority is should. provided, then it's like, oh, you guys have said you value this more mm -hmm. at this time and want this to be a priority. Yeah. We yeah. just really want to be able to also take advantage of opportunities. Yes. yes. Right now, this yeah. is an opportunity. Be nimble. Yes. Yeah, be nimble. Yeah. Yeah. But again, we have to prioritize, but this is something we have to act on, so yeah. I'm glad we've prioritized it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. And the one thing about this is you're not adding, you're just replacing. Right, yes. right. Yes. And, the, and the funds are minimal. Right. It sounds like, you know, hopefully yeah. borderline minimum. Yeah. 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 Um, Thanks for that. Yeah. Well, it just means that average. Little. Does this go through the, like, is this an in kind? Does this need to be acknowledged as an in kind donation or not? Because we are. I don't know. Wow. She's she's got got she's she's got got she has it. She just has some paperwork on it. Um, then that would move me to say yes. Is it in kind of? Uh, it, because any kind of historical yeah, paperwork or, or okay. any kind of documentation she has on the panel that would make me say okay. Yeah. Well, well, at least we'll require it in our inventory, inventory and say this is this was acquired in this way at this yes. time. Yes. yes. So it'll it'll that yeah. Okay. And that okay. Will okay. With the tax nice. donation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, so that's pretty much. Yeah, any other items from staff? Any other items from staff? Any other items from staff? Not from me. Okay. 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 And then, um, and that was the board. So mm -hmm. I, just, I think there's additional items from the board. Yeah. Karen, did you have something? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I from did. Candy. Actually, from Candy. Yeah. She, I spoke with Candy, and she is she's back in town right now, but she's prepping for her surgery. There's some things she's got to do. She's having surgery oh. next week. Next Wednesday, when she told me. So um, that's why she's not here today. Okay. And she just wanted everybody to be there. What about prayer for her? Prayer, yeah, prayer yeah. for her. Wish her her yes. speedy recovery. Speedy yes. Process. Yes. I, I keep us informed. I will, absolutely. And thank you, Cindy, for filling in as secretary. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yes, thank, thank you, Cindy. I do have one thing. I don't know. It's only for addition to future agenda items, and maybe something that you might want to begin working on. That in your report, it has 
last mm -hmm. chapter. So you can totally want to start to recapture all of um, yeah, I think the highlights yeah. of the year and begin to draft. Mm -hmm. I was going to bring some up. Okay. Um, as far as items from the board, we, um, Cindy, you had brought up um, in an email that you wanted to um, include. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Is it, it looks like it's in future agenda items. Oh, I think that's a little bit different. Oh, okay. Because no. the chamber is not. The chamber is the right. 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 I mean, it does kind of. It that is it. That's it. That's it. She did put it in there. Okay, so that's that's that's, that's, that's the the chamber yeah, I communication. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to word it, you know. Yeah, it right. Was, yeah, my um, explanation was. <laughs> it, 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 and just so you know, I had reached out to the chamber and and gotten a list of things that uh, were that they do every year, and and it was said at the time that it that it it, it wasn't worth our time. I disagree with that statement. I, I honestly think, Cindy, I think it'd be great if we worked with the chamber and collaborate with them at least to tell them what we were doing. And just an explanation to the board on this and how the idea came up was when we were talking about publicity of our upcoming events, um, it also occurred to me that there is, besides us pushing the word out to local people, when visitors come to town, it's it's really a shame that they don't have one place to go for historic landmarks. You know, when they look online, um, let's say they go to the chamber. That's why we well, brought up the chamber, because it would be probably the place they would go to find out, oh, we're in town, let's look at, we know Longmont Historic, but, but the Longmont Historical Society and um, what we have with the city, they're not in one place. Yeah, I agree, but they should. We should then collaborate with LAPA, which is the Longmont Area Visitors Association. Oh, and that's what they should do, and that's through the chamber, and that's another board that's here in this town, and we should utilize it. And Saint Brain, are they not in collaboration with the chamber? No, Saint Brain Historical Society is its own organization. But she said. Longmont Area Lava Visitors Association, and it's all the you were asking well, about the the and, they and they have a calendar. Kind of collaboration with they have a calendar yes. of events. Yes. I served on that board. If I recommended it, yeah. Saint Brain Historical Society, they're in Hover Hall. I thought that which one? Okay. They, I thought that it would be great. Oh, sorry. If the board. Brittany, whoever it is, reaches out to the historical society first so that there it becomes something that both parties feel good about and there won't be any sense of competition or anything. Mm -hmm. And then as one, they go to uh, I think whoever. Candy's, Candy's area, the historical society. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So we can talk to her about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, she is very good with that, but I also know there's what Candy said, there's been some past her feeling though that and not wanting to collaborate. I'm yeah, she would know about the history. Of that. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that we could heal those rifts, and then, but I do know that um, Lava um, has a um, monthly calendar that they put out, and, and that would be one of the things we would like to get more visitors mm -hmm. here. And, yeah. and that's, mm -hmm. I just am not sure why we have. So if somebody wouldn't know about lava, it goes to the um, it's that chamber. chamber. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm really sorry, ladies. I have a son that's homesick, and I only have a babysitter until 11 30, so I have to leave. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 We're kind of running out to get pushed. We're running everybody in our copy. Yeah. It's very nice. Good to meet you. you. I hope your son gets better. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just a TV thing, but you know. Oh, this will be a little fun. Summer cold. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for asking. I just think they might want to go that way for painting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's kind of good. Okay. Thank you. That is a great, great communication. So, how's everybody? Everybody else's time here. Um, you know, we can keep going. We're at um, almost at 11. We're getting close. So, we can start with uh, future agenda items. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get through this, you know.
We've been through these a couple times, so yeah. Yeah. it won't take too long. So real quickly, what um, needs to be? Can we just note that the A, the House Manager Picture Project, that, that the plan is that that's going to be hung in September, right? Potentially, right? I believe so. I mean, that's still patching up that wall before the hanging starts is part of that sort of that, 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 yes. that we're waiting for. Right. It includes this and some other items. Right. So, right. And then to also put on that timeline, we need right. a good picture of the house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and, uh, yeah. And we also did talk about that the, the bar would go below, below the, so it wouldn't be injured. The wooden right. frame. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. No, rather than having it yes. rubber. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But I think I think right now it's the wall getting redone. Yes. And they're in some of the tank. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so for A and E, so the House Rental Picture Project and E, the past and present board member, that wall acknowledgement, those are. Simultaneously to be counted. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so, okay, yeah. so they don't hear. Yeah. Okay, okay. so. Club Affair. I remember that we said put that on the October agenda. Mm -hmm. So, just make a note that that, that will be on the October agenda. Okay. And then, obviously, we see that the future house resolution does put that on so in October. So, we did we that. already discuss the count in this blast as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been discussed. We did. Yeah. Meetings. So, it'll be included. Okay. Even for our walk, but then also for the December 1st and 7th open house events. Okay, so that gets us down to the closet cleaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's really important. Yeah. <laughs> That's a priority. Uh, well, it's, Which is you can walk in there now. Great, great I will say that. I do. Well, I haven't. So. I mean, not. I have you not really dive. You can walk in there. That's all I've done. I've yeah. not gone through yeah. anything and though. sorted through anything. But okay, very good. And you can walk in. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, and we do need a, a desk um, in the manager's office for that second workstation. So we're not be able to fit the one that's in the closet in there as is. But maybe we can take it apart and. Try to get it back in there, and we'll see. But that might help get that out of there. Um, otherwise, we can, I don't know, see about getting rid of it in some other way. And anyway, so that'll help too. But you can walk. That's all. That's yeah, it's it's hard. Yeah. So is that something like the board wants to get together and get through that closet? But we want it to volunteer. Yes. If, okay. If, if, yeah. if they need help. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will say that the closet clean out is obviously not a huge priority not right really now. Yet. Yes. No. Um, right. It's down the road. But yeah. the fact that you can walk in there now and I'm starting to figure out what's in there is good. Yes. So I think, I don't know if that needs it, to. If you yeah. want to put it back on a future board it. item so you're aware that we're willing to come in and help. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, flower order. Flower order. Um, it's going to talk with, who is it? With, Yes, I don't know much about it yet. I, I think Ben will probably know. There, there's some. Um, I don't remember right. It's well, maybe you can correct me. Mm -hmm. Ben said to us at the beginning of the year because you'd asked about the flowers, and he said that the, um, the budgeting for that gets done in October or November. Am I wrong? But that that is when we the would have, have had yeah. to have a plan put together. That this is what we want, so that the cost can be included. In the it, it'd be helpful for um, that discussion to have happened prior to January, because I believe, and we were ready to say, "Hey," and they said we didn't know until last week. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. well, thanks for including yes. us. Right, and that was fun, and that's okay. But, but you, but you have the plan. No, but, <laughs> but, but you've so, already put right. it together, right? right. Yeah. And so now it's just a matter of making sure, like, we get that in the yeah. Okay. And, okay. and Brittany has been. Delightful in meeting um, the different players and parks who are working with the buildings and ground, you know, the grounds and areas. So I think um, a discussion this fall winter, so that by the by the end of the December meeting or the November meeting, if that's the last budget meeting or the last functional meeting, if she has an awareness of what to advocate for and to supplement when she finds out what that order is, then should be able I to think make those one choices. thing I'd like to mention about our grounds out there and we've taken some mm -hmm. walkthroughs on it. And I think we need to put that on a priority list too. Yeah. Not just buying flowers and sticking them in, but the grounds need some upgrading, some maintenance, quite a bit. They're down I would call it down level out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there's been some hard things happening with the Fulfillment of contracts, 
Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that, that the city's noted, yeah. and Brittany being here is going to right. be very yeah. helpful. I've already been working with yeah. Ben. One thing I, I yeah. really noticed out there, and I've noticed it a couple of years ago, and and considering that we have weddings and people wearing high heels and stuff, the ground is like a miniature roller coaster. I mean, it's just up and down and up and down. It hasn't been rolled. rolled or leveled in years. And I really think we should get one of our turf managers from the golf course, because you know they keep those fairways nice and flat. And um, I really think we need to get a serious look at the grounds. Um, I also think it's almost to the point of being over -planted. I think there's areas, especially when you go on the south side here, it's just overtaken. Um, we could throw, just start pulling. I mean, there's bushes that you don't see because there's other stuff growing over right. Right. Um, We really need to get out there and thin it out. I mean, when you see a formal gardens that's, you know, really maintained, everything is so pristine and the borders are yes, nice and nice. smooth. And, and you know, like I said, everything out there is, well, kind of eaten by bugs right now. But um, there's a lot of overgrowth that just needs to be really worked on, really thinned out. Um, well, right back to our and, formal and, and meeting. I'm glad you caught that. And I, I think it's my understanding from, from where, when I was walking out there that they ripped up the, the grass recently because of uh, the, what's been the on the sprinkler system yeah, or something. And they're working on throwing that back in. Yeah. But, but you know, then again, we'll, be, we'll create a depression. Too. Right. And, and, and I, I agree with him. So then it comes down to access for, for anybody with a disability, anybody with wheelchair access, anything like that. I think that it should be our priority. Yeah, I think we we just left it to the contractors, for, you know, the people grow and, and but we really need to look at it and say, you know, we're not going to be a formal garden if we keep letting it get away from us. Mm -hmm. We need to provide guidance. And yes, guidance, guidance so. definitely. Okay. Very good. So, 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 so is this something that I should, I think it should be on as, as a new business to be discussed for, for next, for the October meeting or actually September meeting and we get a, a game plan and and you said you already have a list of flowers and stuff I would love to see what you think we should put out well I have the list that we worked up a year ago I'll okay. find it I'd, I'd like to <laughs> see it I'd like, I remember that but I'd like to see it again yeah I'll, I'll have to find it but if not I can do some from Mary Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I love those. That was a great idea. Yeah, that was kind of disappointing. Like, oh, we can, yeah. we, we can do it. We can do it. The nice thing, thing I'm just going to throw in that little plug for the one around the sign. Um, hostas are nice because not only are they perennials, but they don't run away from you. In other words, right. perennials have a bad habit of overgrowing, but hostas are just well behaved. They stay pretty much stay in there. If you get them in it, now there's some monster hostas that are right. three, four feet yeah. tall, but you get the smaller ones. And they're pretty. They, yeah, they're very yeah. pretty. And they provide a beautiful place. Yeah, they make, and they just yeah, kind of absolutely. merge together. Right. Yeah, they yeah, kind of merge too. together to become a nice border. And then I was thinking to make it even easier, we and that's shady there. It's shady. It's shady. We got like that. Yeah, they like that around the edge, and we could do something like periwinkle or ginkgo that's also a perennial that stays very low to the ground, and you know, it'll be just mainly pulls some weeds, you know, right. little kind of yeah. Little maintenance. So, yeah, very yeah. low maintenance. But very pretty in the shade. Yeah. I, I just, if, if I can make a recommendation, and we could, could we please put that on as new business? For the yeah, new I just put grounds as green flowers. And flowers and, um, grounds. Yeah. and your list of recommendations because then you have it mm -hmm. and then as soon as we know when we need to get that turned in that's we don't miss the opportunity right yeah that would be really helpful so, so uh, agenda for the we'll put that in okay so that'll be a okay. business for september yeah, yeah. yeah. September. you can just put it in the ground in the time yeah okay. if i don't i'll work from my room okay <laughs> a little shaky on that but we'll uh, you, got <laughs> you got it okay so that was a quick a quick trip through our future agenda items. Um, is there anything else anybody wants to present? Bring up. Here's your chance. Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Second. Okay. Approved. Yay. Oh, Yay. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Was that a comment or a? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I end what this once I got some of the sin? Send it to Rick. Put it to you and a word down.